far, far away in an unknown galaxy. for our presentation. Meow! Meow! Can you speak English? I don't understand what you are trying to say. Mm, meow! Oops! Mm, I think the camera crew has arrived. Oh! Mm, one second! Psst, psst. My bow! Where's my bow? Oh, oh, hi. Um, come in. We have been expecting you guys. Uh, come, come. You need not yet. Oh, okay. Need point need need. Huh? Um, now? Um, okay. Hi. Welcome to my Lightcraft. I'm Homie, your science tutor. Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> um, and this is my assistant, the one and only Gu Chen. Meow. Thank you. Meow. Together, Together we'll, guide we'll guide you, you to, to the, the incredible and fantastic world of science. science. Oh, yeah. The topic for today is... star formation. It looks like the human body. Whoo! This is the human body. Do you know how it works? Well, it works with the help of two specific body coordination systems. Do you know what they are? No? How about you, Kuchin? Huh? Of course I know. To achieve the coordination and control of all activities in the body, the human body possesses two different coordination and control systems, namely the nervous system and the endocrine system. Yes! Huh? To achieve the coordination and control of all activities in the body, the human body possesses two different coordination and control systems, namely the nervous system and the endocrine system. Um, is that right, Kuchin? Yeah, you're right. some examples of what body coordination is. Reactions like pulling your hand away from a hot kettle, shivering when you feel cold, and sweating when it's hot are some examples of reactions caused by specific body coordination activities. Yeah, and where do these reactions come from? Can you be more specific? Well, I guess. Huh? Well, I guess I'll have to save you again. There are two types of body systems that control and regulate coordination in humans. They are the nervous system and the endocrine system. You may think that the nervous system works like a telephone system because it allows rapid communication between different parts of the body. However, the endocrine system provides a much slower form of communication, which is like the postal system. Let's look at the nervous and the endocrine system in our body 
and learn more about them now. The nervous system comprises the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is made up of the brain and spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system is made up of the cranial nerves and spinal nerves. Now take a look at this chart and try to remember what I'm about to tell you. The nervous system comprises of the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is made up of the brain and spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system is made up of the cranial nerves and spinal nerves. Okay, Kuchen. Are you done? Hey, come on. I'm not finished yet. <coughs> Huh? Professor Who? How do I look? Huh? Meow! You look different. More... Mm, um... Younger? Handsomer? <laughs> I know. Well, I use a little science on myself. Now where were we? I've just finished explaining about the nervous and endocrine systems. Are you talking about body coordination? Meow! Oh! <laughs> well, some body activities cannot be controlled by the nervous system. For example, growth, and the beating of the heart. Do you know which body coordination system control these two body activities? The endocrine system? Are you sure? I guess so. You're guessing, homie. Are you sure? I think so. Really? What else could be the answer? Yes! I'm sure! The endocrine system! Ha! Yes, he's right! The endocrine system is made up of various endocrine glands that secrete hormones. From each endocrine gland, a specific hormone is secreted directly into the bloodstream. This is how the nervous and the endocrine systems work. You may notice that both coordination systems start with stimulations and this is followed by a reaction. Hey Kuchen, tell them what stimulation and reaction mean. Oh, okay. Light, sound, taste or smell are stimuli. Our sensory organs such as the skin, nose, tongue, ear and eye detect stimuli and then pass them on to the brain for interpretation. The necessary action taken by the body is called reaction. For example, light from the flower reaches Anis's eyes. Light is a stimulus and Anis's eyes are the sensory organs. The eyes send a nervous impulse along the sensory nerves to the brain. The brain interprets the nervous impulse and informs Anis that it is safe to pluck the flower. The brain sends a nervous impulse along the motor nerves to the muscles in the hand. The muscles move the hand which plucks the flower. The movement of the hand is called reaction 
o response. Hmm, very good, Kujun. And you, homie, what are receptors and effectors? Um, receptors include um, various sensory cells and sensory organs which uh, uh, function to receive um, various stimuli from the environment. Examples are sensory cells in the skin, eyes, and ears. <laughs> You're not finished yet, homie. What about effectors? <laughs> um, sorry, um, um, now, um, effectors, um, um, that's easy. Um, effectors are muscles and glands in the body, specifically endocrine glands. They react to messages that are transmitted to them through nerve cells. Yes, you are correct. But do you know what connects all the receptors and the effectors to the nervous system? You! Yes, you! The people watching this show! What? I can't hear you! Nerve cells! <laughs> That's right! Nerve cells connect all the receptors and the effectors to the nervous system. Want to see an example again? Yes! Well... When I touch a hot iron, the receptors on my hand will receive the stimulus. The receptors will then send impulses through the nervous system to the brain. The brain gets the message and as soon as it understands what it means, it sends a signal to the effectors to react accordingly. Yes! Ooh, boss! <laughs> Don't ever try that at home. Um. I don't understand one thing. Um, what is an impulse? Impulse? Yeah, impulse. Hmm. Well, an impulse is like a signal in the form of electric beads that move along nerve cells. It moves very quickly for a short time in one direction. Oh, I see. Actually, in nerve coordination, all responses are fast. But in chemical coordination, responses are much slower. Importance of body coordination. Hmm, homie, do you have any idea why our spaceship is not moving? I think we are out of fuel. Have you contacted a fuel station? Not yet. What? Why? Oh, well, I'm not programmed to do that. Oh, <laughs> my mistake. Can we continue our presentation? Yeah. Homie, call the fuel station now. No more excuses. Aye, aye, sir. Mm. Professor Gloop, don't waste time. Presents the next part. Our next topic is the importance of body coordination. There are five reasons why body coordination is important. Number one. Body coordination helps our bodies stay alert to danger. Number two. Body coordination helps humans and other living things live together. Number 3 Body coordination helps to keep chemicals or hormones in the body at normal levels. Number 4 Body coordination helps body activities to respond to body needs correctly. Number 5 Body coordination helps us to adapt to the changing environment. There you are. We have come to the end of the show. So study smart 
and we'll meet again in the next episode. Thank you. Uh, Professor, but we are not finished yet. Oh, really? What did I miss out? Recall segment. I see. Hmm, I'll leave it to Homie. I know he would be really happy to present the recall segment. Am I right, Homie? <laughs> yes. Today we have learned about body coordination. Now let's recall what we have learned. To achieve the coordination and control of all activities in the body, the human body possesses two different coordination and control systems, namely the nervous system and the endocrine system. The nervous system comprises of the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is made up of the brain and spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system is made up of the cranial nerves and spinal nerves. The endocrine system is made up of various endocrine glands that secrete hormones. From each endocrine gland, a specific hormone is secreted directly into the bloodstream. This is how the nervous and the endocrine systems work. You may notice that both coordination systems start with stimulations and this is followed by a reaction. Light, sound, taste or smell are stimuli. Our sensory organs such as the skin, nose, tongue, ear and eye detect stimuli and then pass them on to the brain for interpretation. The necessary action taken by the body is called reaction. Um, receptors include um, various sensory cells and sensory organs which uh, uh, function to receive um, various stimuli from the environment. Effectors are muscles and glands in the body, specifically endocrine glands. They react to messages that are transmitted to them through nerve cells. Nerve cells connect all the receptors and the effectors to the nervous system. An impulse is like a signal in the form of electric bees that move along nerve cells. It moves very quickly for a short time in one direction. Importance of body coordination Number 1 Body coordination helps our bodies stay alert to danger. Number 2 Body coordination helps humans and other living things live together. Number 3 Body coordination helps to keep chemicals or hormones in the body at normal levels. Number 4 Body coordination helps body activities to respond to body needs correctly. Number 5 Body coordination helps us to adapt to the changing environment. Well, there you are. Back to you, Professor Gloop. Okay. I hope you have enjoyed our presentation. I hope it makes sense. So, stay tuned for the next episode.